Welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Tiffany. I'm Jason. Hey, welcome back to the hey, show, man. Well, thanks. Jason's here, so we got to do a Star Wars episode at least once. <laughs> and so I thought, why not redo an episode that we lost? If <gasps> you were one of the two people who saw our episode of Star Wars Infinities, uh, Empire Strikes Back, well, you're in luck, because in that episode, we talked about how we shot an entire episode, which would have made sense. You know, we're doing the trilogy. Yeah. You might have been like, why did you do Empire and not A New Hope? Because we shot it and it didn't film it, and then we were like, well, I'm not doing it again. Right. So here we are, and we're going to do it. And we got Tiffany here. Yay, I'm filling in for Ethan, because Ethan was on the last He was on attempt. that episode. Right. Exactly. That, that attempt. That was lost forever. And so... So I'm going to bring a fresh new perspective. I think you will. this fresh, hot book. That's right, from 20 years ago. <laughs> Star Wars Infinities is a premise, uh, it's what if, for Star Wars. What it's, if the, a, it's an action figure line, in my head. I know it's not. That one where it's like extreme, like it's, it's Chewbacca. Oh yeah, Unleashed. Star yeah, Wars Unleashed. Literally. Remember those figures where it's like Chewbacca going like And he looks terrible. I, yeah. I do not remember this. Oh man, they're more like like cheap plastic statues, but they called them action figures because the McFarlaneization of action figure lines uh, were like, yes, yes. oh, uh, action figures are no longer fun play toys. They're little miniature statues. <laughs> They should have just called it like Star Wars with wind because I feel like the Vader one he's also like there's Vader like, has a billowing cape. Uh, mm -hmm. Boba Fett is also has a billowing cape. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, but like every time you talk about Infinities, my brain just makes it that Star that. Wars Unleashed. I'm like, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about that. I'm not. And I'm talking you're not. about this weird what if series from Dark Horse back when Dark Horse had the Star Wars license where they were like, let's take one thing, one thing, change it from Star Wars and then see what direction Star Wars goes in as a result. Essentially, they're Dr. Manhattaning. Yeah, he's mo we're moving the Star Wars lamp like 10 inches to the left right. and seeing the, the universe that spawns. There's this uh, book we did called Doomsday Clock, yeah. and in it, uh, the one of the main characters from Watchmen goes to the DC universe mm -hmm. and then unmakes the Justice Society by moving Alan Scott's Green Lantern lamp like a few inches to the left. So instead of catching it and becoming the Green Lantern of the golden age of comics, he instead becomes nothing and dies. And so as a result, like we see what like, the- Like so many of us. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> How many of us have had our lamps move 10 inches to the left? We'll I want to say know. most of us. <laughs> Damn you, Dr. Manhattan. This is written by Chris Warner with art by Drew Johnson and Al Rio. It presupposes the idea that uh, what if Luke didn't blow up the first Death Star? Like what if the force was not with him? Like he, he was just like, just didn't do it. He like didn't he, listen to. No, he fired. He uh -huh. listened to. He listened to Obi Wan, and the Force was like, "Now nah, you got this." Huh. Or the lesson is he should have switched his targeting computer back on. You know, it's just oh. it, the idea is it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And well, like, what happens? Well, Yavin. Yeah. Blows up. Let Yavin blows up. Right. And um, I, mean, I guess Leia dies. That would be the idea. Yes, that's oh. the that's the suggestion. That's what Luke certainly thinks, and we'll talk about what happens because that's what the show is. Yeah. So, <laughs> is uh, it? <laughs> obviously, as you know, uh, you know things carry on with Star Wars the same way all the way up to the thing that changes. The thing that changes. So, you know, Luke and company go in and fire at it, the right. There's like Docky Bay ninety four. Uh, right. Stormtroopers all, at the door. Alderaan yes. is blown up. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, but. Everything but happens exactly the same. Like, one dies. Han Solo shows up, he's like, you're all clear, kid, now let's blow this thing and go home. Luke fires, it goes into Death Star, everyone makes their dramatic exit away from the Death Star. Get out of the blast zone! Nothing happens. Exactly. So right. is it that he okay. failed, or is it that the intel was wrong? Neither. Okay. It's just that, like, they didn't work. The like faulty missiles? Yeah, or, or the missiles whatever. didn't, they didn't make contact. D because does it matter? Like, yes. Because the result is that the Death Star doesn't blow up. That's all, it ma that's, that's all that's that happens. Right, no, but for me it matters because if it's the Force, <laughs> then that means that Luke. Like Luke isn't really like oh, the one or something. Yeah. Luke's not a Jedi. Yeah. Or if it's, yeah. if it's messy intel, that means that there's a traitor in the rebellion. Yeah, none of that thought went into this. The yeah. idea is that oh. he breaks the Death Star, but doesn't blow up the Death Star. Okay. Oh. So like when the Death Star is like, Hey, uh, we got a blip on the thing. Says that uh, something penetrated the what's it called. And uh, anyway, we're fine. Tarkin's like, excellent, fire anyway. And so <laughs> they do, and they shoot at Yavin 4, and Luke sees the laser beam shoot at Yavin 4, and it is a direct hit at the rebel base on Yavin, but they find that they are not dead. They're like, oh, what the hell? And okay. it's like, because of what Luke did, he helped to harm the Death Star and reduce the power of the blast. 
So it was like, oh, well, we'll just shoot it another couple times and that'll really blow up the planet. But for uh, now, I get it. all right, we did right, was right. kind of blow up one base and only kind of because everyone on the base is still alive. Okay. Right. So really, in the I'm just thinking about this in like the timeline of the movie. Like, yeah, this happens like in the final reel. Yeah, right. I mean, like so really, you're this would suppose like a whole other act to the movie. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, you get a whole new movie out of this right. because of that. Yeah, and uh, of course, Luke and company were going in the other direction. So Luke assumes because the laser is fired that Yavin explodes. So right. he blames himself for the death of Leia and 3PO and General Dardana and everyone involved. He's like, 3PO, Man. all right. Maybe. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> R2 is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, of course, R2 for, if any yeah. of my circuits or gears will help, I'll gladly donate them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the Death Star, like, reconfigures and they're like, all right, we're good, now you can fire. And so in the time it takes for Tarkin and company to recalibrate the laser from the initial volley from Luke, uh, Leia and company get onto a transport and leave Yavin before they do fire on Yavin and blow it up. There's just one like IT slash Jordy LaForge exactly. trying desperately to re like calibrate yeah. the Death Star lasers. Right, exactly. He did not expect to have to work quite that hard that day. No. Like, he, he got the call, he's like, um what? I need to reset the freaking Death Star? Like I gotta reset it? Do you know how long that takes? <laughs> well, you have ten minutes. It's gonna take at least 30 minutes. Because you can't look like a miracle worker if you tell them how long it'll really take. <laughs> well, as we know, Georgie did not buy into that line of reasoning. No. I think he learned his lesson, though. Maybe. Because in the episode where uh, Scotty is saved from a pattern buffer yeah, and uh, yeah. is allowed to live in the TNG timeline, he uh, mubs into Georgie LaForge, they hang out and talk, and uh, yeah, Jordy is like under the gun because he promises the captain that it'll take a certain amount of time right. and it'll Scott take an hour. Tell him, well, how long would it really take? An, an hour? hour? <laughs> you didn't tell him how long did it really take, would you? Starship captains are like children. <laughs> <laughs> they both have their points. Yes. Scotty more so. Right. I feel bad. I like Jordy. I love Jordy. But I think it's because I love LeVar Burton. Mm. But if you would just write down who Jordy LaForge is, he's kind of a jackass. I mean, he's a creeper. He's a super creeper. He's a real creeper. Oh no, he is not as creepy as frickin' Barkley. Barkley should Barkley. have been court-martialed. Yeah, like, yeah. Jordy's a creep, sort of, but it was like one instance and oops. If you were the hologram in question. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You might have filed a formal complaint against Jordy LaForge. That said. I mean, Barkley should, in that case, then Barkley, Barkley should have been fired out of the torpedo <laughs> I don't care for Barkley. <laughs> Clearly. I just feel like, you know, Jordy <laughs> forms like a real relationship. Like it works over time and Bar and Barkley just makes them yeah. love. Like I'm like, no, no you're Barclay's creepy. Like, I am yeah. Jordy, you're wrong. Yeah. No, Jordy falls in love with a hologram. Barkley has sex Next. with holograms oh, of the bridge. Of his crew. Co-workers. Yeah, I'm like yeah. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> there it's a like line. kind of a. If there's a line, yeah. it's yeah, it's the Barkley yeah. principle. Yeah, Barclay's I mean, neither are great. <laughs> right. But <laughs> Yeah, no, no one's getting condoned. No. Right, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, let's make just, that clear. Let's just, you know? Just, <laughs> but also, like, I've seen Jordy as a boss, and he's kind of a jackass. The crew okay. who okay. leave Yavin 4's destruction, <laughs> right. of course, are infiltrated by Vader, who, of course, like, in this reality, because the Death Star doesn't blow up, he, like, writes himself very quickly. And I, I guess I, I guess it's because the Death Star exists. He doesn't just fly into empty space for days. Instead, he just returns back to base. So Vader and company mm. intercept Leia and her Isn't transport he ship. Is he spinning? Yeah, he, well, he writes himself at the end of that movie. Like, he spins he for a little a, while, right. okay, and then yeah. he is straight and goes off. But he has no place to go. And of course, as we all know, those are short-range fighters. So I don't know how <laughs> he finds his way back, but anyway, that's another story. So Vader and company, they intercept like Leia, and they're like, you're under arrest. So Leia and everybody become prisoners of the Empire, and Luke is upset. So you mean that the transports didn't signal at all to the fighters who were left as they were leaving? There were like, uh, I guess not. I think it's like they didn't have time. You know, they, okay. everyone had to like, well, first of all, all their communications were smashed. Yeah, but sure. like on the ships. Right, but the ship has a radio. Oh yeah, but and you can call to the other ships that also have radios. Well, right, and, and we know they have radios because we just watched this movie where they're all talking back and forth. Right, that's true. And, and those ships have lasers on them. Right, uh, that could help them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, but they don't have ion can support, so I don't know. <laughs> right. Anyway, what matters <laughs> is, right. <laughs> all that matters is Luke is upset, and of course he's with Han. 
Yeah. And, and Han's so, like, well, yeah, you're, Han, you're gonna lose a few. <laughs> yes, I mean, Han is like, that's a shame, but like, if I'm gonna put this all in perspective, I've only really known you guys for like a day or two. Yeah, and I still got paid. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I loaded my ship up with credits or whatever those boxes were full of. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> yeah. I assume that it's kind of like uh, gold pressed latinum or... You think I? it's money? The, oh, what uh, Yeah. What Han is loading up? I assumed it up? was supplies. Yeah, it could be both. Yeah. Oh, no, I always assumed it was it was his payoff. Yeah, yeah, his, okay. His seventeen grand. That's right. He does say I got a lot of debts. I got to pay, pay off, off with this stuff. stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. but it could just be full of chocolate or something. I mean, it, it is be. for chocolate. I mean, I mean I, maybe maybe it's uh, stuff he could trade for money to get. Yeah, maybe yeah. whatever. Just, maybe, it would have seventeen yeah. grand worth of stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe it was precious metals. Who knows? Yeah. So that's anyway. retail value. By they way. end up bumping into <laughs> a couple of Tie Fighters. Oh, and Luke immediately breaks off and just tries to kill them out of rage. Mm -hmm. And so he does. And as he's firing on these Tie Fighters, Ben Kenobi reaches out to him through the Force, and he's like, "Luke, Luke, wait, don't stop it. You, you have to save yourself. Your destiny is elsewhere." It's like the the Force, like, no, your destiny isn't to blow up the Death Star now. Your destiny mm. is to have a different crazy adventure. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Or we have no book. Right. Your destiny is to narratively disrupt an excellent story. <laughs> and so... Oh, great. Han eventually catches up with Luke after the ties are destroyed. And Han's like, hey, Luke, you ready to go after that little fit you had? So they both uh, team up and they leave. And then, of course, more ties arrive. And so they, they have to leave. I love that Han just holds the headset. He doesn't wear it. That he could put on he his head. He always just holds it up. He just holds it. Well, he's like, I'm only going to say a couple more things. I don't want people screaming in my ear all He's like, time. this looks dorky. Yeah. I'm Han Solo. It does look dorky. I saw Luke wearing it when he was using the gun. <laughs> I got him! So they leave, and we, of course, watch as uh, Leia is brought back aboard the Death Star. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is awkward. And Tarkin's like, and I'm still alive! <laughs> how, how I smell now? <laughs> Luke's battle with the ties has harmed his mm -hmm. X-Wing almost beyond repair. He's like, I'm gonna have to ditch this. I'll come aboard the Falcon and we'll figure out our next move. R2 was damaged in the battle, of course, right. as we recall. He was shot by, I think, Vader before the destruction of the Death Star. Yeah. So R2 is still damaged, so Chewie takes R2 to fix him up in a kind of echo of Empire Strikes Back. It's mm -hmm. one of the duo yeah, yeah, that yeah, Chewie yeah. fixes. Mm -hmm. So Chewie takes R2 away so that Luke and Han are by themselves. And I think this is actually a really smart storytelling device because like Han is like, well, it's over. You know, Luke's like, all right, well, we got to meet up with whatever rebels we have left and, and, and regroup. And Han's like, buddy, the rebels were on the planet that blew up. We're done. Like, it's over. I got to go. And you can come too for as long as I can tolerate it. But that's it. And Luke attacks him. Like he jumps on him and he's like, oh, do you have no heart? And Han's like, okay and just punches him once. <laughs> like, okay, you're gonna make me do this? Like, I know you're a kid, you're sad. I'm gonna pop you one though. Right. So he does, and then Luke like pops his lightsaber out and he ignites it. Oh. Like, he's full of rage, he's still angry. Yeah. He's falling to the dark side. Right, like in the oh. ship though, it's kind of a... I, I wouldn't drop it's, it. It's, it's tight quarters there. Don't, exactly. Don't, uh, oh. As Luke ignites his lightsaber, Ben Kenobi appears as a ghost. Well, look at Han going for the blaster. I know. Han's like, okay. But he's like, Luke, wait, just knock it off. And what's interesting <laughs> is I think Han can't see him. Um. So Luke's just melting down in front of him. Yes. He's like, Ben! Yeah, and Han's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the blaster out. <laughs> but no. Uh, he's just Luke, like, uh, Chewie? Yeah. Chewie. <laughs> Hang on, i got to put my headset up to my ear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but he's like, you have to go to the Dagobah system and find Yoda, and we're going to just... We're just gonna skip a few chapters of Empire and get right to it, let's go. And so, uh, Ben disappears and Han's like, that was weird, whatever you just did right there. Well, is this a universe in which Han and Luke never find out what's inside of a Tauntaun? That's right. Wow. Oh, Han never smells the inside of a Tauntaun. Man. Wow. So it's the preferred universe for Han Solo. I, I guess also he, Luke, because I mean like- He never gets to go inside of one. Right, right. or wake up and possibly, right. yeah. Vomit. Can you imagine yeah, him coming to? <laughs> Oh, uh, what's happening? Like he, he must. Nah, it's cool, buddy. It's cool. He it's must cool. have assumed he was eaten by the lump, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside its stomach. I didn't make it out. Punch. I'll just, uh. I'll just tell them he was out. <laughs> Don't worry, Luke. I'll keep your dignity intact. <laughs> oh my god. 
So, <laughs> do you think Bacta I guess gets rid of that? I mean, like, yeah, what your dignity? Well, yes. Only if it's infectious. Yeah. I no, I meant like the, the smell. Like that was in yeah. everything. I assumed that they hosed him down before they put him in the tank. Yeah. But I mean, they do. You clearly have to drain the tank after every use. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And which must be expensive because it's it's not like that's water in there. That's Bacta. Yeah. I mean, it's a precious commodity. Yeah. If you ever read the Star Wars novel, The Bacta Wars, <laughs> you would know. <laughs> this is why you're here. <laughs> 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 so Han and Luke and Chewie and R2-D2 go to Dagobah. Meanwhile, they fly the Death Star back to Coruscant oh, in really? celebration. Like, we won with our big death laser. You're like, it works. We've blown up two, count them, two planets. Yeah, to all those who scoffed. Right. Vader obviously brings Leia before the Emperor who is like in the throne room of Coruscant. Fun detail, of course, this was coming out during the time of the prequels. Like this was literally coming mm -hmm. out while the prequels were coming out. So like certain prequel movies haven't been released yet. Like, so they don't even know where the direction of the trilogy is going, mm -hmm. but they're also clearly under the gun to make references to them. So we find out that the Emperor's favorite room to hang out in is the Jedi Council Chamber. <laughs> which, what a jerk. Which I'm like, that's 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 in character. That, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's canon. I'll take that. So. Palpatine's like, oh no, Master Yoda. Someone peed in your chair again. <laughs> Gee, who was that? Master Windu. Someone took a Windu in your seat. <laughs> what was it? And the rest. Bzzzt. I don't remember your names, Kiadi Mundi and... Plo Koon and Yaddle. <laughs> those are literally, those are the those three. Those are the three. Maz Kana oh wait, no, that's from a later thing. <laughs> he's not there for that. No, I wasn't around. No, I was, remember? Don't Somehow I returned, don't forget. Oh, right. I'm don't forget, back. Don't forget Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. So the Emperor's like, all right, well, thanks a lot. See you later, guys. Like, thanks for bringing it before me, and you can go, Vader. Something's going on, I sense disturbances. Right. Yeah. So Han and Luke arrive at Dagobah, uh, they drop the falcon in a swamp. Uh, <laughs> okay, so clearly it's Han, uh, uh, R2, Luke, and um, a Muppet? Possibly Harry Monster, or I don't know. Oh, yes. That No! That's a wet Wookiee. Oh. Because they yeah. land the Falcon like in the swamp and so they have to jump out like Luke did in the X-Wing and then like wade through the I swamp. I just assume they were trying to overemphasize the fact that he's the furry one so that you know. I mean, all they have to do is make him two feet taller than Han I Solo know. and we get it, but the art is not exactly uh, forgiving. Yeah. But there's a great moment where like Han is like wading through. He's like, hey, come on, Han, go to Dagobah, have a few laughs. <laughs> Can I? comment on the art here like it's, yes it is it is expedient the idea is the art is supposed to just get us through the story just yeah give and, us vague ideas of who these characters are and move on right because like, some of these faces are like i, I don't want to be mean but they're bad they're not great yeah you know they're not ideal yeah but uh I there's mean, like it, it's tough because yeah. like, there's a fine line between like there are some star wars artists who are paid top dollar mm -hmm. to essentially trace movie stills sure or not even trace them. Just pull the movie stills and then erase the background data and then use a filter on it. Right. I've seen that and I'm disappointed uh, to yeah. say the least. But uh, and then there's others where it's like just I I, I and my, honestly my personal opinion I love when an artist can approximate the character. Yeah. Like I don't need to see Mark Hamill if you're drawing Luke Skywalker. Sure. Draw Luke. Like, and give right. me an idea of what Luke is, and as long as you embody his character, I'm great. Because what you end up with is a handful of facial expressions that you are approximating from the movies, you know? In this case, it's like, yeah. we gotta get this out. Right. And remember, and I, there's two artists, so they're working in tandem. That's what I was gonna say. It's like, he's really inconsistent from kind of one page to the next. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like two different people are drawing him. Oh, uh, uh, well, big time. It's, see, yeah. it's actually like almost entirely two different teams, because there's two pencilers, two inkers, yeah, and two yeah, yeah. colorists. That's right. And like, honestly- Oh no, the latter half of the book looks completely different yeah. than the other book. It's, it, it, is there a wow. demarcation point? Yeah, no, like this, I'm like, hey, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ooh, it's more well, like, this, this, is the, this first like yeah. section, you know, anything that's going on pencil-wise, the inker is 
making worse. Yes. <laughs> like they're like yeah. emphasizing where it is and then the colors is coming in and not helping with that either. That's so like true. this team is really not lifting one another up. They're really just like highlighting the worst parts of the art, unfortunately. It is unfortunate, yeah. No. Uh, and, and there are other, I like uh, the art in the Empire one better. Mm -hmm. And the Jedi one suffers from this problem. Not with the same teams, but rather that like there's there's inconsistencies, and when it's mm -hmm. like re when it's good, it's pretty good, and when it's not, it's noticeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah. But uh, so they arrive on Dagobah, and uh, they're there, and then Yoda, of course, shows up. and He's like, "Oh, hello, what's going on, you guys?" And they're like, "Oh," and Luke's like, "Go away, you little guy. I'm trying to find Yoda or something." And he's like, "Oh, Yoda, he's a tough guy to find. I don't know about this." And Han's like, "This is Yoda." <laughs> good job, Han. Uh, the, I know what a con artist is, and this is him. He's pretending to be Yoda. It's not even very good. He's like, listen to his name, Yoda. Like, what, what do you, what do you conjure in your head? <laughs> <laughs> is it a mighty warrior? Or is it a little guy? I don't know. Oh, just, yeah. Like, no, we're not going to use critical thinking. Do, okay, Luke. Do, yep. Do you know what a Muppet is, Luke? Because if you've never seen a Muppet, this is a Muppet. <laughs> you've <laughs> seen, a, you've seen at least three. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to nerd out about Muppets for a second oh, because yeah. Yoda is not a Muppet. He's not. Because Jim Henson did not work on Empire. Phil Tippett made Yoda. Okay. And Yoda ain't no Muppet. Now, he is voiced by Frank Oz, who is a Muppet. But, <laughs> like, a, like, like a secret so Muppet who because became he a sounds, man. Be because Yoda sounds like Miss Piggy and Grover. But Jim Henson was making the Dark Crystal at the time. Yeah, those, those are Muppets. Those yeah. are Muppets. I mean, like, it, it, look, yes, those are Muppets, but they're also not like, this is the Muppet shit. Like, wee! Right. It's just like, oh no! It's like, I have another analogy and it's completely esoteric. It's not gonna help. But uh, okay, so in the Max, there's this comic book series about a, a dreamscape homeless guy. Uh, I've never heard you talk about this. What is it? Oh, it's interesting. We, well, we did a whole episode out of it. Check it out. <laughs> but uh, there's these creatures that live in like this other like dimensional plane mm -hmm. of existence. It's like this outback of fan fantastical creatures. And there's these made-up characters called the Is. If you pull the Is from that dimension to our dimension, they become twisted and dark and malformed and like carnivorous. And I feel like that's what the Dark Crystal is for Muppets. It's like, take the Muppets and then pull them into our reality and you make them these horrible monsters. Mm -hmm. Because Jim Henson had to make the Dark Crystal, we don't get Muppet. Yoda. Man, do you also now desperately want to peer into a universe where Jim Henson did do all the, the, the yeah. puppet work for Star Wars? Absolutely. It's interesting, right, because even Dark Crystal being a Jim Henson Muppet, like, they're very clear, like, they have the look and feel yes, they of have Muppets. The, yes, right? you, you have Jim Henson's Creature Shop thumbprint on that whole yeah. right. And I'm Whereas, like, this stuff is very, it's very different. It's, it's no, different. It is. And the, the Wampa, for example, because Phil Tippett just, they didn't even have a costume when they made the Wampa in mm -hmm. Empire. He's just this. Like when he goes raw to the camera, it's just a hand puppet ha. of a head. They have, they have arms and they have a head. And then they were like, oh, we want the Wampas to invade the base. And so they were like, oh crap, we have to make a full size Wampa, which is right. why they look like ass. And of course, you only know they look like ass if you saw the deleted scenes from it right. because there's a whole deleted subplot of the rebel base on Hoth is being overrun with Wampas. In fact, there is one remnant in Empire Strikes Back that you can actually see. Uh, when Han is asking the deck officer about where Luke is, there's a medical droid administering aid to a Tauntaun. And that mm. was part of the plot where something attacked the Tauntauns. Oh, I don't think I've ever noticed that. Yeah, it's yeah. very low in the shot. Yeah, I've never seen that And you either. only know it because oh. of the deleted scenes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but Phil Tippett made the, the Wampa Puppet, the Tauntaun, and, uh, and and Yoda. It's But I'm actually thankful. No, I'm not saying yeah. that Henson's would have been better. No, but I, I just want to see, see it. I just want to yeah, yeah. know. Here's the thing. I believe that Yoda would have been more expressive if Jim had made him. But yeah. he would have been inexorably muppeted, mm -hmm. as opposed to Yoda, who is unique. The Yoda we have is the most unique. Yep. Like we don't know what like a Phil Tippett verse looks like. The closest thing we have is Empire. I'm, I'm thankful for it, but I'm also sad because they've never been able to replicate it. Yep. No one since Empire and Jedi has, yep. has been able to make Yoda look like Yoda again. That's right. Ever, yeah. even when they made him a puppet again in right in episode one. It, well, when he's a puppet in episode one, I'm like, what is that? Right, it was weird. It was because weird. They're like, like they're like, how do we de-age him? Right, he's like, only thirty years younger, younger, but he's, he's nine hundred years old. It doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, but then again, when he comes back as a puppet in Rise of Skywalker, mm. he's not right. Yeah, 
And I'm like, I appreciate that you made him a puppet again, but it's still wrong. Right. There's other weird like production stuff like that in like the prequels, yes. where like when the reveal of Vader in Episode Three, you're like, why does he look wrong? Why does Vader's helmet is misproportioned? How did you screw that up? Oh, because like, you have. The helmet over, just put it on the oh, new dude. I actually know the answer to that. Oh, please. It's because when they did, because they did, mm -hmm. and they noticed that when they made the original Vader helmet, and of course there is no such thing because like Vader's helmet changes through all three movies. Yeah, sure. But the helmet that they were going to use was like an original helmet. And they noticed yeah. that because it was made by human beings, it is disproportionate. There's a technical disproportion between the length of his like mouth guard thingy. Oh. And so they were like, well, we have to we have to even that out. We have to make it perfect. No. And when they did, it looked wrong. And it looks shorter. Yeah. And they were like, well, it's right now. Right. So let's put it on him. And because there's a tradition of every movie, Vader has a different helmet technically. Right. It's like honoring the legacy. I guess, except episodes four, five, six, even though it's clearly a little different, it's still consistent. It still looks, you're like, oh, At no yeah. point do you look at Vader's face and go, no! Right, you're like, what happened? But you're like, oh, he got a polish job. Oh, there's a little tweak there. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Right. Well, from, from A New Hope to Empire, like, he gets brighter. Like, yeah. And his, yeah, yeah. and yeah, no, he gets polished. Yeah. yeah. You can see more <laughs> studio lights in his helmet in the second one, which I like more. And he has yeah. the satin trim cape. He's got the satin trim cape, that's right. Yeah. That always, I was like, wow. Wow. He's going, he's moving up in the world. That's right. Yeah. It's not that they have more money, because I don't know these things. No, I'm no, no, like, he's just treated himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, it's true, they definitely had more money. I'm like, he's in charge now. <laughs> cool, that's what you get. That's yeah. the next level. Hey, awesome. Lord Vader, I left a little surprise for you in your egg today. You did a great <laughs> job. Oh my god, is this the satin trim I requested back during the, f the construction of the first Death Star? That's right, Vader, I thought you earned it after having it blown to bits on your watch. <laughs> Give it back. Wear it later. So I'm done with it. Anyway, what? <laughs> so the, uh, Han, you know, ruins the show for for Yoda. He's like, oh, okay, well, the cat's out of the bag. All right, Luke, listen, the movie's messed up now. Like, we're we're still doing a New Hope, and I'm here, so something's wrong. But it's not like metatextually like there's something wrong with the narrative. He's just kind of like uh, our timetable's kind of moved up. Let's go. Well, that's good though. Yeah, he, he was too old. He's too old. Oh, yeah. It's now, true. now he's slightly less too old. He is, yeah. He's not gonna die in the middle of this. Like he's not gonna be like, I mean, oh wait, no, I'm I mean just too old. Luke. Oh, Luke. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, he's like, no, he's old enough. Who cares? <laughs> Moving on. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ready enough. Let's come on. As cool. as as desperate as we were to get you in the last version, this one we're even more because <laughs> there's also a Death Star running around. <laughs> so then some time passes, and I don't know how much, but we do a time skip where we go back to Coruscant. And Leia is wearing an Imperial uniform. What? And Vader's like, ah, oh, Princess Leia, like, can I talk to you? She's like, I guess you can always barge into my room because I don't have privacy. I'm a literal prisoner in here. And he's like, yeah, well, anyway, I noticed you were having a hard time. So here's your droid. And 3 is like, oh, hello. And she's like, oh, that was not a, that, that is not a gift. She didn't say that, but like, I mean, it's 3PO, so it's yeah. like, no, you are not helping me by giving okay. me 3PO. I don't know, she looks pretty happy to see him here. She, she, gives, him a hug. she gives him a hug, but I'm like, <laughs> no, you are not doing any, that's like getting someone a pet. Hey, I got you this. Oh, I didn't, I'm not prepared for this responsibility. <laughs> Vader pulls out his lightsaber and he's like, uh, uh, guards, get out of here. Uh, princess, do you know what this is? And she's like, you can't threaten me with that lightsaber. And he's like, no, 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 here. Like, I want you to try it on. And so she ignites it, and she tries to attack him, and of course he ignites his saber. Right. And uh, yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's Obi-Wan's lightsaber that he recovered from the Death Star. It didn't blow up, so it's not lost. Oh, that's oh. kind of cool. I'm like, oh! Okay. Oh, someone's yeah, yeah. paying attention. Yeah, yeah right. so Leia's got Obi-Wan's lightsaber, and they have a little duel. Do, and do you think Vader held on to the cloak? Like, even like Obi-Wan's like cloak? Yeah. I mean, I think he would have if he wasn't in a hurry. He l it, it was probably in his office. I bet he kept it in his office until he jumped into the TIE fighter oh, yeah. and the whole damn thing well, exploded. Just like, it's yeah. just on his trophy wall. Oh, definitely. Yeah, just, it's like, I'm going to need a shadow box for this. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> so they battle, and of course he's like, come on, release your anger, do this. And she's crying, and she's getting more powerful, and he's like, mm -hmm. nice. But she still can't overpower him, and he's like, you're powerful, but you're not ready yet. 
So then she takes Obi-Wan's lightsaber and she puts it up to her head and she says, I'm ready to die. And tries to ignite the lightsaber through her own head. And he uses the force and takes it out of her hands. And he's like, oh, you liked that. You liked how that felt. Like all the rage and anger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're mine. All right. See you later. That's, all right, that's kind of cool. Right. (laughs) Like, I have a heart... No, I generally have a hard time believing that Leia would ever turn. No, but like, this is this is a cool scene. It's a cool mm-hmm. scene. Yeah, and it's not like the end of Hook, when Jack <laughs> is just wearing a Captain Hook costume. <laughs> Especially after Rufio died. Yeah. Like that being said, it is kind of like that, but it's not like that where I'm like, Jack, you suck. Right. It's more like Leia. I get it because Luke. Uh, because Vader kind of like chips away at Leia. Like it's just kind of this stuff. He's like, yeah. here's, I'm gonna give you a droid. And I'm gonna give you a lightsaber. I murdered the guy who used it and he was kind of like, well he wasn't your friend but you were, did ask him for help. Uh, but uh, yeah, like you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm easing you into it. Like this is what Vader would do with an apprentice. Because right, we wouldn't right, right. know that until we got to Clone Wars what that would actually look like. But anyway, while Leia is being kind of like soft trained by Vader, Luke is being trained by Yoda. Mm-hmm. And we're doing all the same stuff in Empire. He's running around, yeah, Yoda's yeah. on his back. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Meanwhile... Sorry, I mean, that starts to set up for an interesting, like, Luke Leia conference. Yeah, Absolutely! Exactly. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, no, we're getting a whole other movie. Like, they're yeah, calling yeah. this a new hope. It's like, no, 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 no. And Han's all like, is it a problem I'm more attracted to her right now? Oh, yeah. No, he is. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> what does that say about me? Is yeah. this a red flag for me? So the Falcon had a hard time entering Dagobah which is why they landed in the water. Mm-hmm. So they've been there for two months, is the More implication. Time. And so Han and Chewie have been trying to fix the Falcon for that long, they finally do. And when they do, Luke arrives and he's like, and Han's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Like one, I still yeah. have a bounty on my head. Yes. And two, I am beyond bored. Well, I'm just done here. Cause it's nothing for me. I'm done eating the gross soup that this guy makes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're almost eaten by, by by swamp creatures like every other Thursday. Forget about it. Do you know it. how many things Chewie is infested with? Right. right. He is just covered. You Gross. can't see it. He's got long hair. But right. He it's also just, reeks. There's like a million ticks on I him. assume there's a shower on board the Falcon. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like a steam shower or something. Yeah, where's that water coming from? Oh, cool. no. They probably tap the reserves. Maybe. I mean, I would assume that... Maybe uh, it's recycled. Yeah, maybe they have yeah, some sort of there's filters. Like a recycler yeah, no, actually, they have endless water. He's like, actually, I mean, like we we have that now in our own space stations. Right. Why would they have this on a? That's true. Clearly, um, more technically advanced society I, where they I, can like hyperspace and shit. Like yeah. they're, they're they're set up to do like long runs. I them. always assume that that yeah. Han set this up kind of like a more like a bachelor pad where he's just like we just kind of towel off and then <laughs> towel off. <laughs> I mean, right. But also, you have a dog. You have Chewbacca. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be watched. Right, you can't just towel him off. It's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple air fresheners on him. Yeah. Just, he's good. Just wear this around your neck. You just throw some cornstarch in his fur. Right, It's exactly. like dry shampoo. Yeah. I assume that at some point or another, whenever they go to like a docking bay, uh, Han like runs a hose from outside the Falcon and just hoses him down. And she was like, I could clean myself. <laughs> Could you imagine the hair clogs in the water recycling? That's why they have the to do it outside. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can't that's, even. That's like, no, yeah. I just I hose you down out yeah. here. Just maybe like, right, you know, maybe maybe he doesn't let Chewie in the shower. Yeah, he's like, you can't. Like, you no, can't, you, can't, you will ruin yeah. the shower. Yeah, no, you can't. That's over. The the roof on the shower is only five foot eleven. Right. <laughs> I make it. I, I made sure comfortable enough for him to right. avoid. He cannot go in. Yeah. Chewie's like, you know, I'm an I'm an adult. I have like a chemical engineering degree. Right. And I'm 250 years old. And, you're, and you're hosing me down. <laughs> I also noticed you're not stopping me though. You know, you could help by like getting one of those horse brushes. And, I mean... <laughs> anyway, so uh, Han's like, all right, dude. Look, Luke, we fixed the Falcon. Let's, let's go. You had fun with your friend, but like it's time to go and like re- re-enter society. And Obi-Wan shows up and he's like, Luke, don't do that. And he's like, listen, you can't go with him or he will fall. Like, mm-hmm. there's there's too much at stake here. And Han, and Luke's like, I'll tell you what, Han. Like, I will let you know when I need a lift, but I need to stay here for now. How? He has a the communicator. Force. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's your answer for everything? <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, he could use the Force and Han would really, I think that Han would not respond to that. 
I think if Luke was like, Han, I'm ready. Han's like, like in the middle of no. banging some Twilight chick. He's like, <laughs> where he's like, <laughs> sorry, Luke. I am busy with some head tentacles. <laughs> sorry, cut that out. So Han says, all right. So he's like some sort of like small long range communicator. Yes. I assume. That can travel from a planet well, maybe he can use R2 to boost the signal. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's also your excuse for everything. I, you know, well, R2, well, I mean, R2, R2 is does little, do that. Yeah, he's R2, a little magic. R2 has many skills. Yeah. Right. But, but just remember, R2 has whatever skill is needed in the moment. It's that's true. Right. He has a buzzsaw, just in case saw. you're trapped in a big net. Yeah. He has uh, rocket boosters in case you need to fly across the He castle. really is like the multi-tool of the Star yeah, Wars 100%. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. no. I and I assume it's only him. No, I think, oh, yes. I assume yes. no other astromech droid has as many... Uh, Modifications. I, yes. Right, no. As much well, shit. Well, no, because all the other astromech droids get their memory wiped so frequently, they don't know they have these tricks. <laughs> That's true. No, all astromech droids have those features. They're just dumb. <laughs> that being said, I don't know why you would ever upgrade or downgrade to anything other than the model he is. I, right. Maybe you just want a little thing that says gunk. Maybe you just want a gunk droid instead. It's what? just... What do gunks do? I the, believe they're, they're, they're power, power droids. droids. Yeah, yeah okay. they, they carry... They, they are... <laughs> They walk around in case you need more power. You can plug into Do you them. need me, gunk? <sighs> no. Gunk? All right, we'll come back later, okay? Gunk. So Han's like, may the force be with you. I can't believe I just said that goodbye. Phew. And uh, so he's like, I can't I, I can't believe I didn't go with him. Like, it took everything I had to reject that. He's just such a sexy man. <laughs> he's just so cool and charismatic. I want to have, like, fun and space adventures with him. And Yoda's like, that was your first test. And you passed. Oh. oh. This is cool, because that like sets Luke up to be a, better a more Jedi. powerful Jedi. Yes, yeah. yes. So okay. Leia's on like the veranda and... Well, uh, great, uh, with great power comes great responsibility, but reverse that, so with great responsibility... Comes great power? Yeah. yeah when you are responsible, mm. you can become more powerful. Yeah, that's the yeah. Jedi Spider-Man yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, Leia like out on the veranda of her prison apartment. She's like, boy, this reminds me of Alderaan. But I love 3PO's commentary. He's just like, oh, the Empire is kind of treating us pretty well considering the circumstances. You know, being, you being a traitor and everything. <laughs> 3PO's like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Yes. I'm not supposed to be having adventures or running around no, or being I'm supposed shot to be in at. a palatio estate surrounded by dignitaries. That's why I'm gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm ostentatious <laughs> for a reason. I'm a status symbol. So then, uh, you know, 3 like addresses Vader, he's like, oh, good morning, Lord Vader. And Vader's like, go away. Fair enough. Ever since the lightsaber incident, Leia's being protected from herself. There's like a there's like an invisible shield. She can go outside, but she's technically not really outside because there's like a there's a shield around mm -hmm. that won't let her like jump off the building and everything. And he's just like, yeah, like the Vader kind of like gets at what her goals are by being like, what you're feeling right now, like just enjoying this like on Coruscant that's peace in your lifetime like, which I've never known in my life before or after and he's like Th this is what we are go this is what our end game is right. so just think wow. about that yeah oh. uh, meanwhile uh, Luke gets uh, faced with the cave Yoda's like go in there he's like okay does he bring the, the belt this we time? do the same thing he's like only what you take with you he's like ah, I'll bring it anyway so yes, he wears I mean, this is like, this is like the false promise of fascism, right? That yeah. he's talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, Luke goes into the cave, Vader comes out, they have the lightsaber fight, he does use his aggression, he chops off Vader's head, the face mask explodes, it's Leia's face. Whoa. Oh, cool. We have nothing to fear from you, Luke. You're not the problem anymore. Oh. And he's like, oh. Meanwhile, Orn Mantell. Is he like, oh, she's alive? He's been, he's thought she's been dead the whole time. So I know, yeah. I'm just saying like. Well, he's like, why? He's baffled. He's like, why is the Force such a dick? <laughs> yeah. I know she's dead, come on. Don't make her Vader. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Oh my God, Luke. <laughs> do you have like, critical thinking skills on Tatooine? Did come you on. go to school? Yeah, did, you ever, did you ever read a book? <laughs> ever see a movie? So on Ord Mantel, Han Solo's like at a bar. I used to go pick up some power converters. That is, that's not anything. That's just chores, what you're describing. <laughs> do, oh, do we finally get to see the, uh, the, the, the scene, the bounty hunter that changes his mind? No. Sorry, never mind. No, oh, I the bounty know. hunter that ran yeah. into an orbit Mantel that changed yeah. his mind? Yeah. No. Okay. Aww. Well, never mind then. Okay, so we're at Orbit Mantel. <laughs> Chewie and Han are like at a bar, just like mm -hmm. drinking up, and a couple <laughs> of stormtroopers come in, and he's like, ah, jeez. You know, they have TV, and the TV's broadcasting news, which is the first time we've seen that in Star Wars. <laughs> and they're showing like, a big showy parade 
on Coruscant. Holy says shit. on the fifth anniversary of the end of the rebellion. Oh, Luke's right. been training for five, five years? years. Yeah, Luke has been wow. on Dagobah for five years. Oh, he could be a kick-ass Jedi. Yeah, he better be. We'll see. Yeah, he better be good at this. Yeah. And, uh, and Han has at least three more STDs. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, thankfully, there's like a, you know. I just feel like without being involved with the rebellion, you know, he had oh, no. He well, no, because he he does feel. He's he's still plucky and kind right. because he knew Luke and he worked with them and he right. But I'm just saying, like you know, he's been sleeping around. That's as true. Much then. But, but he is, now he's like, yeah, there's no one. There's no one to keep him home. But uh, he he is uh, still disillusioned with what happened. Sure. Mm -hmm. Especially now when they pan over the uh, Imperial officers that are like at attention during the parade, and one of them is Leia. And the the news commentators are like, we're thrilled that like Princess Leia Organa of formerly of Alderaan uh, has seen the light. Mm -hmm. And she's like one of our most fervent supporters now. And Han sees her and she gives a big speech about how like the rebellion was stupid and how like this is what's gonna bring peace to the galaxy. And Han smashes the TV in rage, which captures the attention of everyone in, in, like, in the bar. <laughs> Should we, uh, let's the, go. The TV shot first. Yeah. <laughs> Info traders see Han leave and they're like, that's Han Solo. Jabba wants money for him. He still hasn't paid off. It's been five, five years. years. Yeah, I just go, what's for, he go, been doing with all the money? Acquiring STDs. Uh, apparently. <laughs> He's got to catch them all. The Each bar. one's more expensive than the last. <laughs> <laughs> there are like cage dancers and stuff. Like this mm -hmm. is not just a place to drink. Yeah. You know? And there's like a super sad ghost skeleton alien guy who looks like he's from Scooby-Doo on the right. Yeah, well, once Han Ruh -ruh. pulls off his mask, we'll see who he really is. <laughs> it's Garen Dan. <laughs> so they run away. Uh, Han commandeers a rolling garbage can from some Jawas. <laughs> some Jawas are picking through the trash, and he's like, nope, and he jumps onto it. They, like, roll. It's like it's supposed to be some goofy Star Wars fun. Right, you know, but it like, just... You can imagine the John Williams, like, do 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 Yeah, oh, oh, oh. I, I can, <laughs> but I also am like, Han, these are Jawas. They're literally just trying to make their way. They're selling trash, and you took it away from them. Yeah. He actually makes fun of them, because they go, Utini, he goes, send me a bill. And then he smashes that truck. Uh, so oh, do you say Houtini? <laughs> well, of course. That, what else would they say? So he uh, smashes the garbage into like a ground transport full of stormtroopers, and it's like it looks like one of like Luke's speeders, but it's just filled to the brim with stormtroopers. That's who he reason. sold it to. Right. And then they <laughs> and then they transported it from oh. Tatooine to Ort oh, Mandel. Right yeah, yes. it's a collector's item. It's five years old and from Tatooine. Right. Yeah, it's vintage. So Han and Chewie get on the Falcon, and he's like, "All right." Now that I know that Leia's alive, let's go to Dagobah and tell Luke. Well, that's a great idea, yeah. So they make their way through a blockade. Right, because he's like, Luke said he'd contact me and he didn't. Right. And I didn't think twice about that. <laughs> Not right. at all. For five years. For five years, I haven't thought, gee, I wonder if that communicator doesn't work. Or, or if he's or dead. Should I check in? Mm. Why would no. I? No. Nah. No. Nah, no. I, he's, he'll let me know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, he said he'd call. I can imagine Chewie every once in a while being like, "Should we? Should we call him?" Nope. nope. He said he'd call. I'm not gonna go back to him. I don't want to go to Dagobah. Like Dagobah's dumb, and it makes you smell bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like zero women there. Zero. So they blast their way through a blockade because the idea is that like because of the non-destruction of the Death Star and the like help from Leia and the proliferation of the Empire, like. Places like Ord Mandel that wouldn't have a huge like imperial presence do. There's a mm -hmm. there's a star destroyer there, oh. so they manage to escape. They go to Dagobah, is and it, we see Luke on Dagobah, and he's wearing like his. Is this like a like a star destroyer in every pot kind of situation? I think so. Yeah, every mm -hmm. every system gets at least one star destroyer, yeah. and depending on your population, you might get a super star destroyer. Ooh! So we see Luke, and he's in his Return of the Jedi outfit. What? Yeah. Where did he get it? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I assume it belonged <laughs> to a Jedi who went looking for, like a dark Jedi, looking for Yoda. Okay, now that just sounds like you're trying to come up with a, a way that That's there are clothes yeah. there. Yeah, no, I think that like Yoda killed a Jedi Maybe. or a Sith and kept his clothes in his hut. Maybe in R2 he has like a loom and, and like a, and a, a leathering machine. machine. Yeah. yeah, and like yeah, that could be, and R2 yeah. had five years. That's true. I mean, he managed true. to fashion some... Two pairs of... A pair of boots, <laughs> pants, a shirt, a cloak. 
He's got everything in there, and right? The cloak was a crowning achievement. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know yeah. how hard that hood is? <laughs> I assume that, like, well, Luke couldn't leave. So, yeah. Maybe Luke wove them himself. Yeah. Right? Maybe Luke Maybe used the force and, like, pulled some, some mm. ship Maybe. out of or, orbit. Or, or he constructed a loom out of lizard bones. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. Lizard yeah. gust. He, he's like, you know, Uncle Owen once taught me. Right. Had it. Yeah. To do this. How to, yeah, how to, to make clothes. How to use a Tuscan Raider to make my own clothes. <laughs> so, so it was, that was a weird moment, bonding moment for me and my uncle. Yeah. It wasn't really a bonding moment. No. Yeah. It's more it like was a un, crime. It, it was unforgettable, though. Yeah. yeah. It, was. it was unfor It really, really made me question my uncle. Though. Yeah. yeah. It was creepy. You know, it's probably okay that he burned. Yeah. Yeah. So we see this moment where, like, Luke is in his outfit and he's, like, meditating. And then all the rocks around him lift up through the force. And then he lifts up using the force cool. and ends up like at like a tall area of a tree where Yoda's waiting for him. He's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. And Yoda's like, what took you so long? <laughs> You're doing great. Man, can you imagine if you'd left? How much lamer you'd be? Do you know what would have happened? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you wouldn't have made it back until I died. Exactly. Right. So Luke's like, hey, I'm, I'm having visions imagine that. and I haven't had it like, sucked. I haven't had these like troubling visions since like five years ago. And he's like, yeah, it's time for you to go back to the cave. Mm -hmm. So, they have a little conversation. Luke is like, all right, I'm going to the cave. Here you go. And he hands Yoda his lightsaber. <gasps> wow. And he says, this remember. Right. This yeah, okay, no, go ahead. And when he gets there, Vader arrives. And Vader ignites his lightsaber. And uh, unfortunately, it's not as awesome. It's just kind of like Vader swings the lightsaber at him. Luke avoids it. Mm -hmm. And then he is faced with visions connecting him to Vader. Now, because mm -hmm. episode two has not come out yet, <laughs> we can only infer <laughs> Vader's past from the lens of episode one. Uh, so, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that panel. <laughs> so as Luke sees the tortured memories of Anakin Skywalker, we see young Padme wearing her outfit from Tatooine, uh -huh. Darth Maul, Anakin <laughs> as a little boy, Shmi. Shmi. Pad Padawan, Obi Wan, uh -huh. Qui Gon, and of course the Emperor and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I can imagine shouldn't Luke they, being like, I don't know who any of these people are. Shouldn't he see him before he was the Emperor? Yes, we didn't do that. Well, because we're linking it with the Emperor. Like we're we're seeing Vader and the Emperor, and we know that oh, like that's right. who we're gonna face later. But uh, yeah. We also have a couple of like lines. Most of these are from Episode One, but also a couple of them are interspersed with like Leia being an Imperial, and of course we see Imperial Leia among the menagerie that he is tortured by. At uh, last, we'll have our revenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope they do. Thank you. <laughs> and, and finally, you get it, Darth Maul. I'm glad you made this cameo in this book about a New Hope. So. Luke uh, purges those uh, visions from his mind, and then Han Solo appears in the cave, and he's like, hey, I'm back. How did you find this cave? Yoda told him where it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what if he wasn't done? Well, you are. <laughs> so while Han is like talking to Luke, a snake slithers over to Han, and Luke goes, watch out, there's a snake. And Han Solo grabs it and says, it's just a snake. Because of course, this is an Indiana Jones. We have time for a self-referential Spielbergian Lucas reference. Why not throw? Sure. So then everyone sits around a pot and has some of Yoda's famous stew. And I love Han being like, I can't believe I'm back here. <laughs> and Yoda's like, yeah, your destinies are intertwined. And they're like, oh my God, I, don't, I did not miss you. <laughs> Han tells Luke that Leia's alive and that, she's on the, and that she's on Coruscant helping the Empire. And Luke's like, oh my God, we gotta go there. We gotta go save her now. And he's like, yeah, we're not gonna go to the heart of the Empire and try to steal someone who might actually want to be there. Right. All right, that's a terrible idea. And Chewie is also in agreement. He's like, I don't want to do that either. And Yoda's like, yeah, and you're not ready. You can't go. And Luke's uh -huh. like, what? It's been five years. I pretended to care about all this crap for five years. <laughs> like, no, he's, he's like, no, what are you talking about? I can float and I got my cape and everything. I'm awesome. Yeah. Like, why, why would it be a problem now? Sorry, it's just gronk gronk. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I mean, there's no subtitles for Chewie, but yeah. uh, that's that's actually in canon because of course if you've seen the Star Wars holiday special, uh, you watch the first 20 minutes and uh, there yeah. are no subtitles for all those Wookiees either. No, it's 20 minutes of... <laughs> from, three from three different Wookiees? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's Mall, lumpy, lumpy, and itchy. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Thankfully, Art Carney's there to lighten the mood. Eventually. <sighs> <laughs> Forgivably. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Yoda's like, yeah, no, you're not ready because you need to know the full truth before you go do this. Oh. So Luke and Yoda go for a little stroll through the jungle. And he's like, I got, you got a lot of dark crap I got to tell you about. A while ago, I know this thanks to the Force and stuff, Obi-Wan told you that Darth Vader killed your dad. Well, actually, Vader is your dad. And he's oh, like, so here's yeah, because we don't have... Right. Yeah, we don't have we the never, showdown on Best. We, we never don't... meet Lando in this universe. Nope, there is no Lando in this, in this oh, universe. Oh, well, F well, that. He's, I'm he, out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, well, uh, he exists. He's on Best Men, and he's making a go of it. I'm sure he's Yeah, fine. but we never get to see him. No. <laughs> we that's never true. get to meet the administrator of this facility. <laughs> Come on. Unfortunately, that's true. It's I mean, I guess thing. he's got, you know, he's just worried about his mining troubles of all kind, labor right. issues. <laughs> that's what he's worried about. That's he's busy right. being a respectable businessman. That's right, yeah. exactly. Who would have thought that, huh? He and Lobot are a power couple in this universe. Damn right, yeah. <laughs> or power something. So <laughs> Yoda's like, yeah, so anyway, this is, and, and Loke is understandably pissed. He's like, why did you keep this from me? You didn't tell me for five years? Like you told me about that boil on your ass, but you didn't tell me about the, the fact that my dad is the greatest villain in the galaxy? What the hell? And he's like, if I told you five years ago, you would have freaked out, gone with Han, and left, and then we'd have a whole other movie to get through. And like, what if you got your hand cut off? Right. You would be upset. You'd be upset. And he's like, and you still do have anger within you, but you're good at quieting it, and you've you've learned a lot of skills that help you like navigate that. But yeah. he went dude. to anger management, right. and he's learned some some valuable lessons. Exactly. But I have some good news for you. Leia is actually your sister. So even if you do rescue her, you can't have sex with her. Sorry. So Luke's <laughs> like, why didn't Obi Wan tell me about that? And he's like, I don't know. Ask him. And Obi Wan's like, hello, I'm back. I wanted to. Trust me. Uh, it wasn't that I didn't know back what I told you about uh, about, about your father, but... Uh, I I wonder if this is the first time Obi-Wan's shown up again in five years. I want to say it is. Right. right? Because uh, it would be cool to think about, like, Yoda and Luke and ghost Obi-Wan just hanging out around the campfire. Yeah. And drinking right? some Singing soup. Row, Row, Your Boat. Yeah, but probably not, right? No, no. he probably just was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Obi-Wan only shows up when he has a plot point to uh, That's right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad because uh, it really was just Alec Guinness didn't want to be there. Right. So his appearances were limited each time that he had to make an appearance. So we're, keep, we're keeping yeah, up with that yeah, tradition as well. It's just them sitting around the fire and Obi-Wan's like, okay, well, this one time your dad and I were fighting this guy and yeah. I told him that we should wait and, and use his one tactic. Oh, man. And, uh, you know, he disagreed. Right. So he ran in there, and uh, he lost his arm as a result. Yeah. yeah. He said, no, I'm taking him now. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know... You know I told him I was going to go slowly on the left. I don't know why he didn't listen to me. Don't say your battle tactics <laughs> in front of your enemy. It's never going to work. Anyway, so uh, Yoda's like, oh, so anyway, I got some... I got other... I got more shit to tell you. This is the, this is the info dump section of the episode. You know, I'm sorry. I, I got to tell you, you know, your dad is uh, Vader... Your sister is Leia, and Vader is not a great apprentice for the Emperor because he's broken and he needs a lot of robot shit to keep like walking around and stuff. He's not an ideal candidate, but the Emperor has wanted you since he found out about you, but he'll take the daughter if he can get it, so... Well, I guess that's it. Does the Emperor know about Leia? The Emperor has sought the son of Vader. Right, but right, he'll right. take his daughter as well. I think the idea I guess, is that the, the emperor definitely knows. Okay, because what I'm wondering is this: like, is Vader trying to pull the power play here? Yes, that Vader he is Luke, training like, Leia like, to overthrow the. Come emperor. with me, and we'll rule the galaxy as father and daughter. Yeah, whatever. No, definitely. No, yeah. I think that the emperor has been so, quietly. He's like, this is great that we saved Leia because I'll make her your replacement. Mm -hmm. And Vader's like, yeah, I know. That's why I'm being nice to her. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but this is like daddy's little girl. Exactly. So, like, so we're not going to make that happen. One time, your, your father killed younglings, and your mother got really upset about that. But not so upset as to stop making out with him. Right. No, she just... She just died. What kind of younglings? <laughs> like, Tuscan younglings or, or people younglings? Like, both. Oh. No, he, he actually killed both. Yeah. Uh, but the Tuscans, not just the... The children. 
but the the women and and he really he was there to kill the guys and then yeah. just kind of yeah he kind of went killed yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. yeah. not just the men am I really helping at this point you're not oh okay I'll see you next movie okay. Obi Wan oh man you I wish you could have got met this guy his name was uh, Qui Gon he's pretty cool yeah why didn't he show up oh uh, that would fun yeah he yeah. got he Hello. got he got cut uh, pretty bad yeah. he got stabbed by a by a demon yeah but not to be confused with the Devorian though no not them yeah was this I mean, guy and then he got spider legs. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do a new movie tie-in, you you could have had like a Qui Gon appearance. Here. Yeah, that would be really fun. That actually might have been cool. I would have right? loved to have seen old Obi Wan meeting up with Qui Gon. You could have right? I guess you could. Right, that would be a cool little reunion. That would be great. It but didn't, no, we didn't get that. No, it didn't exist they at were. the time. Right? Was Avatar: The Last Airbender coming out at this point? I'm like, because you could have had Luke talk with previous. Jedi Masters, like Aang does yes. when he talks gotcha. to the other yeah. Yeah. avatars. Absolutely. Yeah, like Qui Gon yeah, and Kiati yeah, Mundi yeah. and Plo Koon. It would have been great. To yeah. tie it into those the, movies. Yeah. We, yeah. We should call up these guys and give them some notes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'd appreciate it 20 years later. <laughs> so I, I got some feedback. So Han's like, all right, well, I hate to eat and run, but uh, let's go. I, I'm going to help you. I you do like Leia. You didn't eat. You went, eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I just gave it to Chewie. But <laughs> let's go. And oh, and Yoda's like, wait a minute. Me too. What? Shotgun. What? And everyone's like, and literally the whole crew's like, wait, Yoda, you're coming? All right. Yeah. Let's do right. this. And thank God, Attack of the Clones did not come out yet. Right. So he's so Yoda mm -hmm. still has some dignity. There's um, no moment where Yoda's gonna be like and jump <laughs> around. Yeah. He's not gonna be a ping pong ball. No. Yeah. That's Yoda good. man. Yoda, Yoda man. So anyway, uh, Yoda says, it's been a while since I've been back to the temple, and I'd like to see it again. Let's just see. So, oh, just well, he's not going to be happy what the Emperor has done to his chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, the this, okay, so as part of the celebration of like their victory over the Alliance, mm -hmm. they, they eclipse the sun with the Death Star. Wow, that's dramatic. Yeah, well. Wait, is this just part of the celebration? Or is this like this is just part of the... The it's day celebrations are like permanently. No, no, it's just we're part. gonna block out the sun. I mean, we live here. Right. <laughs> no, no, it's just a move. Right. They're like, yay! Like it's a power it, play. It is. Yeah. Just like look at the power we have. We can block out the sun with our might. Okay. Okay. I feel well, like a destroying a planet is way more of yeah, a power show. Yeah, we can't like show. show you that. Yeah, <laughs> right. We can't true. blow up a Coruscant as a demonstration. <laughs> yeah. Because then you'll be dead. Yes. No, I can blow up some work. other garbage planet. I don't know. Yeah. So. Uh, Holy crap! That's, that's 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 just a lot. Oh yeah. No. Well, like they've it's been five years. So like they've been able to there's build up their forces so, and like, succeed. There, there's like two or three super star destroyers. Yeah. Yeah. Or more. At least. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that's right. Well, you're also at the heart of the empire. Like this is where they would but all like be. But like they anyway. won. So they have like yeah. Yeah, they won. So right. it's un it's unabated. Just right. Look right. at because, all the crap they're building. Cuz the original thing with the super star destroyers there was what? Yeah. It was Vader. There's Vader. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, uh, I mean, why not 5? <laughs> yeah. Leia's hanging out like watching the eclipse with uh, the Emperor and Vader and she's like, "All right, I got I got business I got to attend to." And the Emperor's like, "Nice." Like she's doing great, you know. Her ambition makes her powerful, and it's, it's all working out. And Vader's like, "I sense something weird," and he's like, "Yeah, don't worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. It's definitely not me going to betray you and jump into her <laughs> baby." <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that's the wrong book. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that's a good idea. Though. So as Han and company are arriving, you know, like Han makes an announcement. He's like, "All right, we're entering the Coruscant system. Feel free to leave anytime you want." And Yoda's like, oh, I'm really looking forward to the Emperor celebration. It's going to be wizard. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> so they arrive and they like, because there's so many ships, the Falcon is able to zip through it. No one's paying attention. Right. No one can right. see it. They're all just worried about flying into each other. Exactly. <laughs> they do get flagged. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, you, 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 come here. We don't know who you are. Exactly. Yeah. So they're like, okay. all right. Han's like, this is the plan? Didn't we do this like five years ago? <laughs> So they arrive. Hey, it's a classic. I know, yeah, why not? <laughs> we so know they, this place like the back of our hand. Exactly, we've been through here all the time. There's no way they're going to do any upgrades. Okay. So, uh, and Ghost Obi-Wan can tell you where to turn the tractor beam off. It'll yeah. Be yeah. So they're, they're all like prepping for their plan. You know, the, um, the, the, the Imperial soldiers, uh, stormtroopers, uh, arrive like you know, in a formation to board the ship and see who's there. I have a question. For yeah. You. Does Yoda know that Leia yeah. 
is training. Oh, no. Oh. And Yoda being couldn't like care less. Because shouldn't he feel that? Mm. Probably. That would be a massive, like in a, in a. Yoda's at, an optimist. At this time, when this is being written, mm -hmm. when there are seemingly not a lot of Jedi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He would definitely that's sense wrong. it. That's wrong. I think the idea is that Yoda trained Luke, so he's like, You'll be fine. What? <laughs> but like, there's so there's like a handful of them. So if anything changes, oh yeah, they're gonna know. Right. No, yeah. and, and it's true. Like the deck is kind of stacked against him. It's like, well, it's, you know, I got I got the five year long trained Luke Skywalker versus the Emperor Darth Vader and his sister like, Leia. Like, uh, that's gonna be tough. But but I'm he's sure. got R two. So you know, he's got, he, he's got a he's got all kinds of crap in there. <laughs> <laughs> that guy over there, he could tear your arms off. Yeah. So. Luke's like, Master, are you sure you you want to like do this? Cause I come with you. And he's like, Nope, you don't want to be here. So he gets off. Uh, and he's like, All right, good luck. And so uh, R two leaves with Yoda to help open doors and stuff. Okay. Oh, he's the new R two three PO combo. That's right. All right. And so, uh, huh. all right. So R two and Yoda depart the Falcon, and he's like, Hello, uh, Admiral Tarkin is waiting for us. And the then the, the stormtrooper was like, "Okay, yep, I, let's go." I have one other question. Mm -hmm. Does Leia think that Luke and Han, or that Luke is dead, and so is Han? Because she clearly heard Han when he arrived. Yeah. Just like in, mm -hmm. I don't think she. I think she doesn't think about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. She does like remember them and like. Like them. I assume with Han, she'd be like, "He's he left. He doesn't. Yeah. Like okay, he had like, one Luke? shining moment. But, but yeah, does she assume that Luke died? It doesn't really come up. Okay. Uh, so Yoda talks to the stormtroopers and he's like, "Expects us, Admiral Tarkin does." And they're like, "Expects them, Admiral Tarkin does." Let's go. Oh, nice. <laughs> so uh, he's just like, so he makes them say a bunch of hilarious stuff, and then he's like, uh, one of the stormtroopers is like being helpful. He's like, "Would you like an escort?" Oh no, thank you. I wish this to be a surprise. <laughs> So then, because Yoda is using the Force to control all the Imperials on board, uh, Han and Luke just leave. They just get onto nice. the Falcon and fly away. And so they arrive at the like Jedi Temple, and uh, you know they go do their thing. You know, they they break in to go save Leia. Save Leia, and Han's like, I can't believe we're doing this again. We broke out of the Death Star. We're here to save the princess again. Yeah. So Chewie takes the Falcon while Han and uh, Luke go to rescue Leia. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile, Tarkin is like getting ready for like a big ceremony. You know, this is nonstop ceremonies from here to Timbuktu. And uh, Yoda shows up, and he's like, "Oh, hello, Tarkin. I haven't seen you since our days with the uh, with the old with the old Republic." And Tarkin's like, "Oh," and he's like, "No talk. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry about it. Uh, we were younger back then. Don't you remember? Obviously, you look better than me. You know, because I'm 900. But I would love to see a tour of this vessel." Do, could you, could you, could you uh, accommodate me, please? So then they go off, and uh, Luke and Han like enter the like Imperial throne room. They get to this big hallway. And they notice that like no one's in it, and they're like, "This is kind of suspicious." Yeah. Yeah. Sus. Yep. And then yeah. a couple of Imperial guards show up. Nice. And Whoa. they are wielding double-bladed lightsabers. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I guess they got upgrades. I buy it. Yeah. No, that's cool. But uh, yeah, so then they but bust like out their- like It's a lot more dangerous for us to it's use true. these. We got these robes, they're really encumbering. Uh, so. We're not Jedi, and these have two ends. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so they, Both ends are pointy, oh no. <laughs> Actually, Luke uses the force, he ignites it, he throws it with the force, and it cuts a couple of them in half. That's great, good job, uh, Luke. But yeah, so they're fighting those. So they fight the Imperial Guards, and they win. And uh, they bump into 3PO. He's like, Master Luke, what are you doing here? And he's like, come on, we gotta go save the princess, let's go. And 3PO's like, oh, um, about that. Yeah, no, 3PO's like, come on, we gotta save the princess. Oh, he's like, this has gone too far. No. Oh. 3PO's like, come on everybody, let's go. So 3PO leads Han and Luke into Princess Leia's throne room where she is uh, flanked by both Vader and the Emperor. And mm. they're like, yeah, you failed. Leia's better than you, and we've got all the power, and we've defeated you. And uh, so the Emperor gives Leia her awesome new Sith lightsaber, which is red. Yeah. And uh, Luke ignites his lightsaber, and he's like, I'm not going to fight my sister. Which immediately, like, makes Leia freak out. She's like, whoa, wait, what? Like, you're my, you're my brother? And uh, while they're talking, uh, 3PO pulls out a blaster and holds Han hostage. What? what? 
He's like, drop your weapon! Like, yeah, 3PO what? has been indoctrinated, much like Leia. There's like no way that 3PO is capable enough well, to make this happen. I know. No. Salacious Crumb almost took him out. That's yeah, right, yeah. That's like, because is... they forgot that like this whole sequence needs to be Luke versus Leia and the Emperor and Vader and Han can't do anything. So Leia's goaded into fighting Luke and they have a little lightsaber fight. Uh, meanwhile, Yoda uses the Force to manipulate Tarkin to use the Death Star to just start firing on all the ships in the fleet. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Just picking off Super wow. Star Destroyers. Just pip, 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 pip. Like, ah, like battle stations. <laughs> the Death Star's freaking out. It's like, and it's great because, you know, it's like, it's you, usually you see like the laser up there. It's like, uh, <laughs> so you see like Tarkin and Yoda and R2-D2 like on the deck of the Death Star, like where, you know, Tarkin famously stood. There's like watching the devastation, like this is amazing. And on the comms like, what's happening? <laughs> We're being destroyed. <laughs> and uh, and of course they're being locked out of the communication systems because R2 turned them all off. Right. Good job, R2. Yay. And Yoda's Yay. like, this is great. I, this is awesome. I want to see more. Show me more, Tarkin, let's go. Meanwhile, uh, you know, the Emperor is doing his thing because, like, there's two characters he was manipulating really fighting, and he's like, Good! Good! You're just gonna say, Please! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I, it took me forever to get through to you! The Death Star's freaking out! It's blowing everything up! <laughs> <laughs> and the Emperor's just like, No! <laughs> like, what? Luke does his Luke thing from Return of the Jedi. It's like, I feel the conflict within you. Like, let go of your hate. Mm. Come on. Like, and she's like, Huh? And he's like, Come on, for our father. And she's like, What? <laughs> Wow, this is fun because Leia gets the one-two punch. Yeah, I got yeah. a brother and a dad. Boom, and they're all right here. And right, it's all a you big do is... freaking crazy family reunion. <laughs> yeah. They're all trying to kill each other. Meanwhile, Luke Vader is like, "What? <clears throat> I didn't know I had a daughter." Oh, he didn't know. Yeah, he knew that she was force sensitive. Yes, but that was right. the because end like of it. the emperor told him. Right. So Luke and Leia teamed up. They're ready to face the emperor, and they're like, "You failed, your highness. We've got you." Meanwhile, Vader's like. Like, you know, looking off in, a, in the middle distance, like, what? A thousand yard stare. Yeah, exactly. And the Emperor's like, ho, oh, ho, <laughs> Just starts blasting them. And, uh, you know, Leia cries out for her father, and uh, Vader grabs the Emperor. Okay. And, uh, we, we've seen this scene play out. Exactly. Yeah. And he, uh, but, but we do get, the Emperor this time is like, what the hell are you doing, Vader? Like, get, get your hands off of me. Why are you grabbing me? <laughs> this robe is expensive. Get away. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, uh, they just like push 3PO oh, the hell over, saving uh, yeah. Han, and pushing him into a wall scrambles his circuits enough to deprogram him from being an Imperial droid anymore. That's and so, exceedingly uh, convenient. Yeah, Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, sure. And so, uh, next time I want to reprogram him, <laughs> shove him into the wall. Bonk! So, there uh, we go. Han is left having to carry 3PO. And, uh, that seems like something that's fun. Yeah. So while our plucky band of heroes are hauling ass out of the Emperor's <laughs> throne room, while Vader and uh, the Emperor work out their differences, the Emperor is like, ah, I'll just zap you with my lightning then. And then a big view screen comes on and Yoda's there. And he's like, hello, your excellency. It's the Yoda show <laughs> starring me, Yoda. <laughs> and, Yoda's, and the Emperor's like, oh, Yoda, I thought you died. What are you, what are you doing? What, what, what's going on here? You think you blew up a couple of my ships? I got ships all over the place. I got ships for days. And he's like, yeah, that's great. And he's like, you, 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 want, you want to have a grand finale? You want to have a big fight with me? Like, we will, actually, in the third movie. But, like, it would be really <laughs> disappointing. Like, well, why don't you come down? And he's like, okay, I'll come down there and see you. And just points the Death Star at his throne room <laughs> on Corsa. <laughs> And smashes the Death Star into the planet. <laughs> that's that's badass. So as the Death Star is like descending into Coruscant, Han's like, Chewie, get the goddamn ship! I, there's no more sky. So everybody just jumps onto the ship, and like, I love Leia goes, "Was this the plan?" <laughs> and I was like, "This was not the plan." We just watched like the Emperor just look out the window at death. And the blam, the whole damn place just goes up. Awesome. Does does Vader die? There? Yeah, Vader's dead. Oh, okay. Emperor's dead. Yoda's dead. Presumably R two's dead. Aww. Wait, really? Yeah, well, I'm out then. I'm really sad R2, about that. Yeah, R two was on the bridge of the Death Star, helping control it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, two thirds of these books will kill one or the other droid. Oh. 
So then, I guess they, you got to be edgy, huh? Hey, yeah, you got to. You well, you got to have some stakes, you know? Yeah. What would happen if you ended your saga, where all the main characters just survived? I guess I'd be pretty pleased. Yeah, that'd be great. Why, why can't we have that? Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, but I'm gonna change your song at the end then. But I don't want that. Well, here it is. Oh no. So everyone's happy, and uh, because Yavin's destroyed, and there's like, and Coruscant. No, is you're right. They're all sad because Ardu died. They're yeah. like, oh, yeah. everyone's sad. The greatest hero no, it's, of the rebellion. You're gonna love this. Okay. So okay. they Are you go. Sure? To, so they go to Naboo. <laughs> Why? Because that's the second best you, place. You you said to go. I was gonna love it. <laughs> I promise you will. So they go to Naboo because we can because there's a shot I can recreate from the movie here, oh. and uh, Leia is like, Leia's like, I'm back, and I'm sorry for the five years of treason. Uh, everybody's cool. These guys are heroes. Hooray! And uh, 3PO's like, I'm sad because R2 died. And then R2 shows up, and they're like, R2's here! And they was like, how is this possible? And Han's like, oh yeah, no. R2 was told the plan by Yoda, and he downloaded himself into the Millennium Falcon computer. And so we got another droid, and we uploaded him into that one. And so while that's happening... But okay, that means this that, R2 doesn't remember... He doesn't right. remember dying. Th this doesn't work as much as the whole B4 thing didn't work in Star Trek. <laughs> right, but it still happened. Right, but it's still dumb. I agree. Okay. But, anyway. <laughs> but I was happy to see Data with the crew in season three. Well, and I'm yes. I'm fine with that. But uh, yeah, so... Uh, but you get a cute moment between R2 and 3PO because R 3PO goes, What do you mean I look older? It's like because he hasn't seen him in five years. Right. Because Archie's brand new. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And then Luke, like, taps Leia and points, and we see the ghosts. Yeah. And then it's Obi Wan, Anakin, and Yoda. And because it's before the redux of the special editions of the original trilogy, it's still Sebastian Shaw. And of course, on the strength of this, they did two more. Each one is like each movie. So, like, it just presupposes, like, what if the rest of all that happened, but then this changed? So with Return of the Jedi, like it's, what if A New Hope and Empire all happened and then this changed about Return of the Jedi? Right, right. Yeah, so they're, they're each book is standalone. They yes. don't build on each other. Exactly. You know, yeah. Which makes connected. sense because at this book, you've... you've you're, it's satisfying. You're like, oh, it's over. Right, but you, you've finished the story here, right? Everyone's redeemed or dead or whatever, yes. right? Uh, which is interesting from a perspective of like, you know, destiny. Right? Yes. It's like, well, which they it talk about a lot. It still happens, right? Yeah, right. It still all works out the way yeah, it's supposed Yoda to. Yeah, Yoda still dies. The Emperor still, still dies. dies. Vader right. still dies. Our crew still survives. No Lando, though, which is a yeah. shame. It is yeah. a shame, yeah. Because <laughs> he is my favorite, like, you know, secondary character. Yeah. And yeah. these are trade paperbacks. They collect, uh, this book came out individually. So oh. in the end, you get the covers of each issue, and uh, yeah, they're oh, great. Oh, is that what's at the end here? Yeah. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, you know, it could be, it might have been derivative, and obviously now <laughs> Dark Horse can't. No, no, hang on. Um, and obviously Dark Horse can't do this anymore. But like, there could have been a bunch of Infinities, A New Hope. You could change a bunch of different. Yeah, things. any, yeah. Num just any number. Just explore. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, I think the idea was that like that was the premise. They're like, this is. I mean, we named it. It's Star Wars Infinities. But like. Right, but like I could see them being like, well, now we have to do all the other ones. Like, no, 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 you could just keep trying out different things here yes, and like yes. pleasing, you know, right, old school fans. Yeah, no. What if uh, like, without taking away from anything that's happening now, just give them like this, like yeah, this alternate history of, yeah. of Star Wars. Like, I mean, you could change it from any point in history. Like, you could change it where what if uh, Luke doesn't leave with Obi Wan? Mm. Right. You know. Yeah. What if Obi Wan doesn't die? Right, right. I want to see that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. Yeah. <laughs> but only because Alec Guinness is endlessly charismatic. Yes. And I want to see more of him. Yeah. But yeah. In fact, he didn't. You know, in the original version, he did not die. Not in the original cut. Right, right. But uh, right. they didn't know what to do. You know, they were just like, they, he just kind of was like, well, I guess I'm coming too. Let's uh, go for you. Let, let's and go. then uh, I believe Lucas's wife was like, he's got to die. <sighs> yeah, every good decision about A New Hope is essentially made by his wife. Yes. Like, she cut that movie. Yeah, she she saved that movie in the editing room. She won an Oscar for that movie. Yes. Yes. Well deserved. I agree. Have you ever seen, like, the original Lucas rough cut? I the have George not seen rough cut? that, but I have seen the Obi-Wan hut scene recut in the actual sequence it came in. Because apparently oh, the I've whole too, hut yeah. scene is not in sequence. Yeah, and it is. And it is not great. No, it's terrible. Well, it's just, it's just drags. It's just all oh, info dumps. Yeah, it feels like it's... 
15 minutes long. It's, it's, it's the it's, same length. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all the same. Wait, all the scenes are in the exact same length. Yeah. It's just they're in different sequences. Yeah. Which is why, like, 3PO goes from, like, right. between cuts. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be kind of a neat thing to see from a historical perspective. Yes. Like, what was... George, okay, guys, here's yeah, my he, movie. Hey, Marty, let's sit down, sit down. let's it. watch let's my movie. Yeah, at the and end at the end, they're like, George, um, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> that was a, that was a movie you made. What's the thing? It's like A New Hope is perfect because of collaboration there you and go. everyone being like, who's yeah. the greatest sound designer in cinema history? Ben Burt. Yes. He, he's the scream of R2. Like, everything that Ben Burt does enhances Star Wars, makes it real. Yeah. And John Williams. Mm -hmm. Giving it a soundtrack and making it epic. The groundbreaking special effects. That's also, yeah. I mean, but that's like a real thing. Yeah, yeah, no, they had to invent stuff to make invented, it work. Like, yeah, they invented an entire company to invent this technology. Yeah. To do this stuff. Uh -huh. Which is really cool. I've always thought that was like the coolest thing. Like industrial light and magic exists because of Star because Wars. Because they needed to make Star Wars. They needed to make Star Wars, right? And no like one was up to the task. Right. It just oh yeah, well we have to figure this out. Yeah. Let's do it. And I love That's cool. I love the full circle nature of it where mm -hmm. when Star Trek was ready to make movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the Star Wars guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dennis Muir and he's like, Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do this. Why That's would right. I not? Yeah. Like uh, only the fans see us as combative. Right. <laughs> Right. Like I, yeah. no, I'll take, I'll make my movie look yeah, more like yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'll, I'll take do some it. Star Wars cameras. Come on. Um, so, what do you think? I think it's, I, I really like the idea. I think this is like, this is the best one out of the three. This is quite. This was fun. This was well it's, done. Yeah. There's definitely some things in there where they were clearly paying attention, and I really like the idea of these like what ifs within the mm -hmm. original trilogy because obviously the further we get away from it, the more it's becoming. Uh, a thing a distant the, memory yeah mm -hmm. and like it's been so intrinsically changed and that's fine like you know what I get it things have to move forward mm -hmm. you know fans change they you know there's or die. new fans yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. but like this is a neat idea to like just go back and like Refresh play around yeah. like you mm -hmm. know and, and to just live in this universe without affecting anything right. right well and the other thing is that you're going to this universe and playing around but it's done really well. It's done yeah. very respectfully for the characters that we know and love. Yeah. It gets it. It feels like Star Wars. It does. Yeah. It still feels like Star Wars. Yeah. And it's not gratuitous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This no. one isn't. It's not trying to be something other than the premise. Right. Right. It's like the premise is, what if Star Wars changed one thing? Okay, I can do that. And it's like, yeah, you, you think you can, but it's hard yeah. to not go completely off book. Mm -hmm. Like Boba Fett could have easily been a character in this in this book. <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> but, true. But you do have some. Uh, it's not all integrity, right, and depth because I feel the mandate of and get some of that uh, episode one stuff in there. Right. Sure, sure. Like right. that one scene, the, the cave full circle scene is like that's great. I would have yeah. loved to have seen Luke actually triumphantly pass the trial of the cave. What does it right? look like to yeah. actually win? And it looks like a Darth Maul cameo. <laughs> Uh, at least, that's, that's at least, a little bit of a letdown. At least doesn't fight Darth Maul in the cave. <laughs> right. Um, but I guess that's just it. O overall, though, it's very restrained. Yes, right? it is. Which is which is rare. Yeah. In this period of excess. Have they done, I feel like they have. Have they done a story where they're like, what if like uh, R2 and 3PO had been blown up? No, they... There's one like, death of 3PO in this. Well, I mean, like where they sh like they like either in the escape pod at the beginning, oh. no, like right at the beginning, and yeah, they, then that's they actually a good one fired. too. That's a good one too. Yeah, I, I I don't know I don't know how you meet destiny in that one. <laughs> right. Well, no. Well, I mean, like it's just maybe I don't know. maybe Luke is older, like you know, they, okay. because Luke stays on the planet and no one's there to give him the call to adventure. So Obi Wan's just sitting in the hut waiting for him. Obi Wan dies, much like Yoda, just alone right. in the hut. Luke inherits the moisture farm. So you get like a like an Obi-Wan looking Luke where he's got a beard mm -hmm. and then the Empire reaches out further. Because remember the Empire was already like making its way, but like yeah, the Empire yeah. becomes more powerful. They come to Tatooine. Luke's like, that's enough. And like maybe he he loses somebody important to him. He, he, he takes a wife. 
Mm. And they go to Moss Eisley, and she dies in like some right. uh, act of aggression from the Gestapo. And then he like finds out he has the Force, and but he of course channels the dark side because he's you know he doesn't right. know what he's doing, but he's still Vader's son. And you know Vader feels unfulfilled because he feels this this tremor in the Force that he can't quite name, and he's so he's mm-hmm. constantly like recklessly tearing through the galaxy. Like they you know yeah you could go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got an older Han, older Han, older, older, older Luke, older Lu- Leia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that could be interesting, right? right? Maybe you kill Leia. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to remove the only woman in Star Wars. No, but like, I, I get you. Though. You, like, you know, Leia dies. Alive? Yeah, yeah, right. And like the, and uh, so you have this movie about like these two grizzled old men who. <laughs> You know, the older I get, the better that movie sounds. Like <laughs> <laughs> Go on for one last ride. Yeah, but it's like, go. yeah, it's like these. There are certain moments. Yeah, that, that you could easily go like this. Could this is where it could zag. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, it didn't sell very well, so that's the end of it. There's only three of them, and they're Dang. each their own movie universe, and uh, they're not connected at all. Uh, but uh, well, they what, shouldn't be. It wouldn't make any sense. Oh, I know. I'm glad we didn't. Right. But uh, but they but Marvel owns the Star Wars license now and forever probably. But they're also uh, they not love doing random what ifs. And that's the thing is that we live in a world now where what mm-hmm. if was seemingly relegated to just the Marvel universe, but now mm-hmm. there is a <gasps> what if. No, I just got really excited because Marvel and Disney Plus are doing the What If series for Marvel. And I'm like, what if they did a What If series like these for yeah, anima- an animated Star, Star Wars, Wars yeah, show yeah, yeah. about just the in call it infinities or what if or whatever yeah, and just yeah. go for it. But yeah. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Me I'd watch too. that. But uh, so, yeah, they yeah. are they they're doing a What If Aliens. What if Aliens? What if Burke didn't die? It's also written by Paul Reiser. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> I and I was like, I was not aware of that. I never asked. <laughs> like, I never wondered. I never thought, what if he didn't? No, I right. if, I was more like, I just, when is I, Burke going to die? Right. I always, I don't know, I personally always sit around wondering when Paul Reiser is going to give a treatment to the alien. I agree. <laughs> I, I mean, come on. But the fact that Marvel's willing to, like, expand the what if line into other intellectual properties that are just demonstrably not Marvel yeah. means that, like, Star Wars Infinities is closer now than it was 20 years ago. Yeah. So well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if these are recollected. I believe there is a Legends book, even though these are more Legends than Legends, because like, f- for as much as the original Star Wars canon didn't happen, these definitely didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these happened even. These happened even less than the other stuff didn't. So you can check it out in the comments. So they're down even below. more meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> and that's definitely reflected by the views of this episode. But <laughs> thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next week with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Tiffany. I'm Jason. May the force be with you. Yeah, you know badly I wanted to say and Tiffany. And well, I'm, I'm Tiffany because I'm always like, and I'm Tiffany. I know. I'm like, I can't say I'm Tiffany. Yeah. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I, Gemlick? <laughs> you are our host, Tiffany. Yay! Do you trust your host? Your co host would follow you to whatever end. To whatever end. I'm so glad we got to make a Lord of the Rings reference on our Star Wars. Can't help it. (laughs) Can't help it. Somebody was like, man, I can't believe Lord of the Rings is going to be almost 25 years old. And I was like, shut your mouth. I can't believe there aren't Lord of the Rings comics. It's outrageous.